Welcome to a video from the DigitalLifestyle.com, new Windows 11 uh, video to look at. This is 22494 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel. A couple of nice little things on here. Unfortunately, one of the new features I haven't actually got on my machine. Um, and this is the case that Microsoft sometimes tests these features out to uh, small subsets of Windows Insiders. So I can't show you the nice new feature in Microsoft Teams. So if you're using Microsoft Teams, I actually installed Teams on here. I don't normally have it on this one to test this out. But if you're in a call on Microsoft Teams and you see how I've got the microphone icon there, the microphone icon there, if you're in a Teams call, uh, you get a slightly different looking microphone icon that um, enables, you can toggle to mute or unmute. So this is like just during the Teams call. So you can mute your call, unmute your, or unmute your microphone, and then uh, uh, mute it again through the little icon that shows up on here. It's just a shame I can't show you that because it's only available to a small set of inside at the moment. It only works with the the, sort of the full version of Teams, not the chat one, the, the this one here, uh, that comes with Windows 11. It's the full uh, system one. So anyway, that's uh, one of the new features uh, that's in this. And I can... I can't show you at the moment. The other one is Alt Tab, and Alt Tab um, is getting um, Snap Assist on there. So it's not on here because uh, again, it only, it's going only going out to a few uh, insiders while they're testing it. But you'll get the Snap Assist. So the Snap Assist, if you remember, is where uh, you can. You see the icon then. Is, this is the snap assist where you can choose whether you want it side by side or quartered or whatever how you ta how you um, split the windows up and so uh, alt tab will have the same thing so it seems a good idea it's just a shame it's not there at the moment uh, a couple of the settings that have been changes if we go into apps default apps let's take a look so as you start typing on a as you start typing you see the the suggestions there the suggestion windows there uh, without you having to press enter um, you can also go directly into this as well if um, without so you can see the, the the options there without you having to press enter um, and they've made some changes to the to the fonts and on this as well to, to make this easier the rest of the changes are just fixes. So there's fixed. The, what is fixed? If you go and hover on these little tooltips down here, they don't just um, go everywhere. Now they actually they they go in the right place. They were randomly going in places, and I've seen a lot of people noting that. So that's been uh, that's been fixed with this with this build. Um, there's some they fix some issues with File Explorer crashing, especially with certain DPIs. They fix some issues with Search taking a lot of CPU. Uh, they fi fix some Explorer crashing is issues, especially when you're using Alt Tab and desktops. Um, and they fix some uh, DHCP type issues. The other thing, um, let's check if they fix. If you go to Windows Update on the previous build, it actually gave you some other options before you got into Windows Update. Now it goes straight to it. So that was a bug in the previous build. That's now been fixed on here. There's still some known issues. Um, start may not run. Uh, when you're searching for apps, they recommend use Windows R to use the Run dialog dialog. That's been in there for ages. There's still some uh, search issues and quick setting issues, but overall, a fairly short list of known issues with this with this build. So I'm afraid that's it, really. I can't show the two most interesting new features. I can't show you because they're not on my device. They may be on yours, but they may not. Um, they'll get onto the more devices as uh, Microsoft get more confident with it and they can roll it out to more people. But that's it for 22494 uh, for Windows Design on the Dev channel. Good to see that we've got new builds. It'd be nice to get some new features like Android apps, which I've got a separate video looking at Android apps on Windows 11. That's using on the beta channel. But So I've checked that out. But anyway, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.